What's up everyone? So today I wanted to update you guys on some bulbs that I was using and finally failed after about six months it looks like, or at least the setup and that setup. Some of you guys were asking me on the last video where I showed you guys the current uh, bulb setup that I was running. Um, and this is kind of an update. So the Hikari bulbs have failed and I'm gonna show you how and why. So um, <clears throat> these were in my fogs and I got them on so you guys can see what's going on. And this is the failure of the Hikari kit. So you can see this one, super bright. It's still white. And this one over here, it went dim and blue. So something on that has failed. Yeah, actually, it's you can see one of the LEDs on that side. Hopefully you guys can see that it completely went out. So only the one chip on that side is illuminated. And this one is burnt out. Whereas this one, super bright like not even a comparison this one's not bright at all in blue so i'm gonna pop that out of there and uh just show you guys what it looks like maybe it looks burnt or something we'll find out in a second all right you guys so the bulb has actually failed and you can see the one chip on the side this is what the normal chip looks like if i spin it 180 degrees Hopefully you guys can see it. It's all just melted on this one side. So that chip right there has self-destructed, which is why that bulb has failed. And hopefully you guys can see it. I'll try to get this camera to focus here for a second. Yeah, check it out. It's like that chip literally self-destructed. If I turn it around, you can see that's how the chip should look. You can kind of see the four little elements in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then again, if I spin it around, boom, she exploded. So I don't know what the warranty is on this stuff, but obviously didn't make it a year and these have failed. Or I think it might be a year, I gotta double check. But anyways, Hikari bulb, expensive bulb, failed. So I'm gonna go ahead and for now, just put the C6S back in there that I had. Um, since that's what I have available, that way at least I am back up and running. So we'll pop that back in and uh, continue on, but let's talk about this for a minute. So we're back to these C6S for now. And let's get that in there. And I'll just compare them again since we got it. I saw the Hakari on the other side. And I'll compare the C6S versus the Hakari once again. Even though I did in the last video, why not? We'll do the comparison once more. Okay, so that's the C6S in the, what would be our left looking at the vehicle. And that's the Hikari on the right. And honestly, they look very identical. So I'm not really seeing much of a difference. So I don't know if you guys can tell any difference, but visually, they are extremely close. I did leave the uh, canvas decoders on there um, just to put a load on it. I don't know if that's what's making a difference because before I swear that the Hikari was slightly brighter, but in this comparison, it does seem to be that the C6S looks identical. I don't know. I'm gonna pop the other one in there and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, so both the Kari's are out and this is the other one. And I showed you guys in another video, but you can tell just the discoloration from the heat on these things. These things are getting extremely hot. At the bottom here, you can see what color it originally was. And then at the top, you can see it's kind of gotten this gold color now. So you can see at the bottom that bronze color. And I think originally it was like a black anodization color and now it's just gotten so hot that it's turned into this gold color. But anyways, uh, let's wrap up and talk about it. All right, so that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video, guys. So I just wanted to show you what we're running uh, what failed and that thing is cooked so this is just another like before Going back a year ago. We were trying lots of bulbs off of Amazon if you guys don't know about Amazon You can only return to Amazon for about 30 days. I think it is and then after that your um, Your you have to go to the manufacturer to try get any reimbursement um, I'll have to double check with the Hikari ones, see if I can at least, you know, get a replacement, but I doubt it. I think it's been about a year and I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a one year warranty. I'll check that out for you guys. I'll keep you posted on that, but 
Um, it's one of the things, you know, I like to keep this channel as honest as possible and I'll show you guys when things fail. You know, regardless of where it came from, I'll show you if it failed and what happened. But um, we went back to just those C6S bulbs because I had them kicking around and um, I know that they work for now, but what I do want to do is because I found those C6S bulbs and how they ended up working and they were a good value, good bang for, for the buck. But I do next, we're going to stack up the C6S against these bad boys. So JD Mastar has been helping us out a lot on the channel. And um, I know I have a lot of other brands that we were just talking about Hikari or the C6S, but um, these guys have really been stepping it up and helping us out. And I know that these guys stand behind their products. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stack these up against those C6S. Since the Hikaris have failed, um, that's pretty much a given. And those Hikaris aren't cheap either. So, um, and I know you need the decoders and all that stuff in conjunction with them. Even though the fog lights on these trucks, guys, um, it doesn't, it won't throw uh, a light on your dash. You will still get some flickering with the Hikaris unless you have the decoder. So there's not a load on the system and you'll get some flickering. So keep that in mind. But um, that's what I'm saying is the Hikaris end up being quite expensive by the time you're all said and done and they failed. So um, I'm going to try these out in another video. We'll stack them up against the, the tried and true, the cheap bulbs that we've been running, those C6S, which are like 20 bucks. So everyone's been laughing about those. But these ones are very good looking builds. And I'll, of course, put them to the test for you guys and see how they stack up against our other balls, but that will be in another video. I just wanted to update you guys on the Hikari and how those are working out in today's video. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing if you're stopping for the first time and check out all the other videos we already have on the channel. We've covered a lot of stuff on this LED stuff. Hopefully you guys aren't getting tired of it, but I've been putting this stuff to the test and um, finding out what works for you guys. But um, if you guys are subscribed, make sure you turn on those notifications so you're notified of the newest videos. But as always, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video. Take care.